10 Best Green Flowers for the Garden Along with the traditional red color, annual amaranth comes in green tones, such as the green tail cultivar. This old-fashioned species, also known as Love Lies Bleeding, has tassel-like flowers and makes a funky filler for your cut flower arrangements. It also lends interest to hanging baskets. Combine these with a red form such as Red Garnet for brilliant contrast in your container garden. These annuals like full sun, warm temperatures, and rich soil. They typically bloom from July until frost. As you might expect from the name, Bells of Ireland is a plant with genuinely green flowers. This annual plant falls into that I'm not sure how to grow it category for some gardeners because the plants fare poorly in hot weather. In fact, exposure to cold temperatures enhances germination, so if you can sow these in the fall, they will naturally sprout when temperatures are to their liking. Expect about 10 weeks of bouquet-worthy blooms, and when the plants decline you can replace them with some hot weather annuals. Horticulturists are developing new varieties of coneflower every year in response to gardener demand, but isn't the sculptural drama of the green jewel variety great? Green Wizard is another fun take on green flowers, its green sepals and blackish cones adding a dose of texture and whimsy to the border and vase. There are so many yellow-green varieties of perennial daylilies to choose from, the reblooming, green flutter, variety pictured here is but one of the choices. Green Iceberg, Green Puff, and Green Glitter are some other daylilies that display greenish-yellow blooms. Try planting them alongside one of the hundreds of daylily cultivars that feature green throats. The right gladiolus cultivar can provide gardeners with a piercing green accent that pairs well with other neon-hued flowers in the garden. Buy the biggest bulbs you can find of green types like Green Star to reap dramatic spikes for your flower arrangements. These tender corms aren't hardy in areas colder than Zone 7, so you must dig them up if you intend to keep them from year to year. Unless gladiolas are grown in day-long sun, they will get leggy and require staking. Sometimes called the Lenten Rose because of its early bloom time, the hellebore was recognized as the perennial plant of the year by the Perennial Plant Association. This perennial is valued for its shade tolerance and hardiness. In addition to varieties with mint green flowers, other cultivars may display white, pink, or purple flowers, and cross-pollination often leads to unexpected flower colors. Hydrangeas are decidus flowering shrubs. Some have blooms that turn color as the season progresses, with flowers that start and end white, turning green during the middle of the season. Others remain green for the entire blooming season. Few plants of this fragrant old-fashioned annual will attract giant hummingbird moths to your garden. Pair antique lime with one of the pink, purple, or red varieties close to your deck or porch, as the fragrance is most intense in the evening. The crisp white flowers of snowdrops with their green accents are welcome harbingers of early spring, whether or not you have snow on the ground. Deer avoid all varieties of galanthus flowers, so plant with abandon at the edge of your woodland garden. Plant this bulbous perennial in large drifts in the fall for greatest impact. The bulbs can cause skin irritation, so wear gloves when planting them. This flower will prove to you that green really does go with everything. The brilliant chartreuse color of Zinnia Envy can look cool or electric, depending on whether you pair it with white or other bright flowers. Plant this hot weather lover at the same time you set out your tomatoes, when night temperatures average 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.